Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. In this video, we're going to start a new series around analog integrated circuit design and with a focus on current source and the current mirror. So I have prepared about 12 videos lecture around this topic, current mirror and the current source. It's very important on analog integrated circuit design. First part, part one, introduction. Let's start with a concept from discrete circuit design. Let me show you two examples. The first one is a discrete 741 operational amplifier. And the, the one on the, on the right is another discrete circuit amplifier. You see a lot of big component, right? Compared to uh, the, 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 si the hand size. And you see a lot of resistors and a lot of capacitor. Usually on this kind of circuit, the value of the capacitor could be microfarad. Could be one microfarad to microfarad. Anyway, it's big. This is the discrete circuit. So here's the BIOS philosophy, the discrete circuit BIOS philosophy, which I taught this in other lecture video. The first one is a common emitter amplifier. The second one is also another common emitter amplifier with different BIOS skin. The first BIOS skin is the BIOS with single supply. The other one, the one on the right, is the BIOS with two supplies. Here's the first BIOS. See, you see the one, the single supply with four resistors, this big. And the other one is the BIOS with two supply, VCC and the negative VEE. Other than that, other than a large value or moderate value resistors, there are two coupling capacitors, CC1 and the CC2 are coupling capacitor to couple in and the signal couple out and also the big emitter bypass so coupling capacitor and also the bypass capacitor in reality the capacitor, capacitor value as what I just mentioned is around microfarad order of magnitude here's the discrete circuit bias philosophy now here comes the integrated circuit let me show you two real world example we found on the website. The first one, made by Tex Texas Instrument, is the 741 operational amplifier. The other one is, I'm going to teach this in the coming future, other video, LM380 audio amplifier. That's design, original design is from National Semiconductor. So let's if you unveil the inside, you will see that this is the ubiquitous 741 integrated circuit operational amplifier. I said, if you unveil the package, you will see something like this. You see, this for the operational amplifier, the corner is, thanks for the, the, the hack day, the, the reference. Uh, I put the reference, the source on the bottom. So the... Here's the differential input, and you see the output, right? So differential in, and then single ended out. So you see the differential, <coughs> sorry, the differential amplifier stage, and gain stage, and also the output stage. The green part is the output stage, there is a short circuit protection. On the gain stage, in the gain stage, you see a big capacitor. So how big is that? How big is the capacitor? Usually it's the 30, the typical value of that capacitor, usually you can put this down, is 30 picofarad. What's the pickle? What's pickle? 10 to the negative 12, 12 power. So compared to the discrete circuit amplifier, it's extremely, extremely small. So here's the circuit, the, the, the circuit diagram. You see the on the left, you see the bias, differential input. I didn't put the differential on. It's the differential 
same as the previous slide, the one on the previous slide. And then gain stage, you see the 30 picofarad across the feedback, and then the output stage, the output stage. Bias, input, gain, and then output stage. Probably I need a break uh, to get some water. Let me pause. I'm back. I, I just need some water. And that's also the upside of the online learning. Uh, you can also have a break and get some coffee or tea. I can go break. Uh, I can go break and you can go, go uh, time out anytime. Then let's move forward. Where are we? We're talking about the IC bias philosophy. So here's the philosophy. What's the philosophy so far? Number one. In the integrated circuit, large or mo even moderate value of resistors should be avoided. Number two, no coupling capacitor, no bypass capacitor, no big capacitor. So number three, current mirror and current source, like this one. You need this kind of circuit called current mirror or current source. Again, it's called current mirror or current source. I just remember when I was, it's kind of pathetic when I think about uh, the first time I learned this circuit when I was a college student, I said, I asked myself, why this is this broken? Why the circuit is incomplete? Let me ask you, now I'm asking you, why the current source is incomplete? Why the current source is incomplete? Uh, the left-hand side is complete, but, but why the third? Current source is incomplete. So you need, you need to have a big picture. So at that time, when I was young, I, I'm, I was lack of big picture thinking. I didn't see the big picture. So here's the big picture. So go back to the IC philosophy on this slide. Then you see the big picture. No one, no part, this is complete, right? Because you have the reference current, and then you can reproduce the current to the rest, the other part of the circuit. You can reproduce, once you establish, once the reference current on the left hand side is established, you can reproduce to, to what? To Q10 and Q9 and Q8 and Q13, the rest of the integrated circuit to share the bias current with other stages. So that's the philosophy. Current mirror. So it could be connected to the rest of the circuit, could be on the top, could be a differential amplifier, in this case, the green block, for example. So now, mode of operation. If you change role, if you put yourself into, a, into the shoes of a differential amplifier, <laughs> there are transistors on the bottom, right? So why, what's your concern? You said, you are going to bias me. <laughs> you are going to bias me. If you are a differential, you are going to bias me. Are you qualified to bias me? To give me a const, what's the meaning of bias? Are you qualified to support, to provide me with the constant current source, with the constant current? So here comes a very important concept. If you review the bipolar device physics, you see this kind of the, the IV curve, right? So now you have two choices, either on the green or on the blue. On the left or on the right. So on the if you are on the left saturation, you are not qualified. So you have to stay in the four active region. Why? I don't have to explain this. Because constant current, that means you should operate, be operating constant current region. Constant current region. Four active region. So make sure the transistor is operating in forward active region. So when output transistor is in for active region, now you see, it, let's assume the transistor is matched, and then they have the same VBE. If they match, that means they're going to have the same IC. Let me repeat that. Match means they have the same parameter, parameter IS. The same VBE, same exponent, they're going to have the same IC. Same IC, yet base current, they have the base current, IC over beta, and then two 
IC over beta, reference current, it's going to be the sum of these two. Right? Therefore, sorry, it's annoying. IC equals IO, IO equals IC. So IO, you can get the relationship between IO and I reference is this one. Beta, rep beta represent the finite current gain. All right, that's the result. That's the result. Take away. First take away. We are approaching to the end of the lecture video. Let me remind you, number one, IC, you got to have the IC bias philosophy. You got to see the big picture. What's the philosophy? No large or moderate, even moderate value of resistor. Only small value resistors are welcome in integrated circuit to avoid large area. So number two, no coupling or bypass capacitor. Small capacitor can be accepted like this one, 30 picofarad. Number three, you need to have the, the concept of current mirror. Create the reference current, a mirror, use the mirror very economical way, lean way to share, to reproduce the current to the rest of the circuit on the chip to provide them the bias, the constant DC current. That's the philosophy. All right, number two. So number two, to have the current mirror function as a, a current source or current mirror to function normally, the upper transistor should be operated in what region? Forward active region or the constant current region. Number three, pay attention to the effect of finite gain on the impact of current transfer ratio. The mirror ratio is not one one. In this case, in this case, if beta, let's say if beta is 100, if beta is 100, and reference current is 1 milliamp, if you consider the impact of beta, what is IO? The IO is going to be 0 0.98 milliamp. That's the imperfection of reality of this current mirror, right? We have come to the end of this lecture video. I hope you learned some very important fundamental concept with this new topic, analog integrated circuit bias, current mirror, and current source. Thanks for watching.